What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition, HPI. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general collective reading <clears throat> for all signs, cast through Sag, everybody in between. <clears throat> Somebody don't want to speak on this. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys. Love you guys so much. Um, thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the bestest. You are. You are. You are. Um, so we're going to get started. Daily tea for 12 to 2022, 9.32 a.m. Hope everybody is doing fantastical Central, Central Standard Time, just saying to say. All right. Okay, so uh, I received several channelings. I'm picking up on several energies this morning. So we're just going to get started, go right into it. I might pull some cards, I might not. Okay, so the first thing I picked, uh, the first channeling I heard was um, someone is about to get the best type of revenge. Um, I heard about to level up and the glow up is about to be real. That was the first one I heard. And honestly, that is the best form of revenge. Revenge as far as self-caring yourself, growing and manifesting yourself, your kids if you have them, your home space, your career, uh, the people around you. That is the best form of revenge. Not going out and implanting hidden camera devices in people's homes. Uh, not going out and vandalizing people's property. Not going out and stealing from people. The best form of revenge is you moving on, doing your healing, growth, and shadow work, and moving forward in life in a very healthy, positive, copacetic manner, and that is the best form of revenge. You moving on and moving forward and showing who did you wrong, that you're not a piece of trash, that you are worthy, and that you are, sh you are putting positive into the universe no matter how wrong they did you. That is the best form of revenge. So whoever that is for, beautiful. Now, I feel that could be a, in a business endeavor, a 3D workspace endeavor, a career, professional career, or a combination or a side hustle. How that resonates applies or a combination, okay? Um, I heard the glow up is about to be real. So, I think people are about to start seeing changes in you aesthetically or your home space or your children or activities you're doing or maybe your postings. If you do social media, I didn't hear you did or what have you, what have you. That's really, really, really beautiful. The glow up is about to be real, baby. That is the best form of revenge. And that's just the truth. Moving on in a happy, healthy, copacetic manner. Leaving the past in the past. And just moving forward. And that's just the truth. I feel like somebody might need to hear that. And I'm serious. It is. Trust me. From a 39-year-old mama. Old woman. I've lived a lot of life, you guys. A lot of life. And... It's never good to physically get revenge on somebody. It just never is. It's not a good look on anybody. And that can lead to serious crimes. Okay, so the second thing I was picking up on was heavy undercover cop energy. Very heavy undercover cop energy. Um, heavy. Um, I heard someone um, is dating an undercover cop. They have no idea. I heard for one, they're dating them, uh, online dating. For one, they met them out the 3D, uh, not, yeah, in a 3D space. I was going to say workspace, but not workspace. One, they met them online dating. One, they met them in 3D space, so everyday world we live in. And uh, one, they have just moved in with them, um, but they are undercover cop. So um, that's at least for three of you guys, or somebody about to come across this video. Somebody's dating undercover, but they don't know it. Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, I love my, I love law enforcement, except for dirty cops. I love law enforcement that's upright. Would I ever date a cop? Hell no. Hell no, I wouldn't. And that's just the truth. Hell no, I wouldn't. Never, never, never. But I do love and appreciate law enforcement, and that's just the truth. But somebody's dating, a, somebody's dating a cop. I didn't hear that they were dirty. I just heard they were undercover. But whoever's dating this person, they don't know it. It's masculine cops. It's masculine cops. In all three situations. In all three masculine cops in all situations. So 
all three. So you can be masculine and feminine dating this undercover cop, whether you just moved in with the undercover, you um, met him on online dating, or you met him out in the everyday 3D world and you're dating them, whether you live with them or you don't live with them. How that resonates and applies. All three energies are masculine cults. And also, too, I was picking up on a reader has an undercover cop heavily watching them on their social media platform, too. That was another one. Um, that's not a dating situation, but um, there's a reason they're watching you. There's a reason they're watching you is what I just heard. Okay, so for the reader that has the undercover cop heavily watching you on your social media platform, tarot reader, um, there's a reason they're watching you. So just know that, too. I feel you can be masculine fem reader, and that could be masculine fem cop, undercover cop. Heavy undercover cop energy. Heavy. And that's all the channelings I got so far, but damn. I mean, those are good if you think about it. That's really good, you guys. It is. Someone really did not want to have to move, but through many series of chain events, they probably will have to. Their ruse is up. They were, their game plan was trying to get somebody to fall in love with them, but it has not worked. And they have committed some heinous crimes against them in the past. It's a masculine energy. Oh, my God. Okay. Them energy, they wrong. Them energy, they wrong. Okay. So, I'm picking up on a masculine energy that wrong, heavily wronged a femme energy in the past. Their game plan and goal, it sounds like, was to try to get the femme energy to fall in love with him. Uh, so, what he, I heard he horribly wronged her in the past. So, you control and domineer and um, God complex and do all kinds of crazy shit to her, but then you expect her to fall in love with you? That That's not how the world works, if anybody needs to hear that. that that's not right. Um, it's really not. But I heard she hasn't f fell in love with you. She hasn't fell in love with you. God complex person. Um, I heard this person really didn't want to have to move. But through many series of chain events, they probably will. Because his whole game plan and premise was to hurt and harm and do her her horrible things to her. Which I heard he did. Many of them. Many of them in the past. But doing all that. Putting her down and beating her down. And hurting her, harm her. And doing whatever God knows to her. He was trying to, he basically was trying to beat her into submission. It's basically what he was trying to do. He's basically trying to beat her in, into submission. But it hasn't worked. She's not in love with him. So, he's heavily contemplating moving. Well, sorry, yeah, you should move. Because you need to be held accountable for your uh, actions. If you might need to hear that. And that's not the way to get somebody to fall in love with you. If you might need to hear that too. Yeah, he was being a praying menace to her ass. Damn. Basically trying to beat her ass into submission. I mean, we don't live in freaking 1500s, 1700s, if anybody needs to hear that. So, heavy information is about to come out on this masculine energy very soon. Information he does not want to come out on. His karmics and all his sexual history of the past. Where he currently lives. To people he don't want it to come out to. Co-workers. Business people. Business partners. And all random people he don't want to come out to. He probably will end up moving soon. Well, I'm picking him up strong. Okay. So, the one he tried to beat the fem energy basically into submission, basically. Because that's basically what it is. I mean, I I call it how it's seen, and that's basically what the hell it is. Um, he, uh, apparently he loves women. He loves women and sex. And sex. Um, he might love men, too. Men, too. Yeah, okay. There you go. It's out. Men, too. Women, men. He loves sex. And he loves a lot of it. Um, but yet, the whole while, he was trying to beat you down, ma'am, into submission, but he was out gallivanting. 
Like, what? What? How, what's the fairness in that? There's not any. And that's just damn true. Um, but I heard he will probably end up moving soon because soon, apparently he works in 3D workspace and he has some kind of business partner partners and connections out in the everyday public. I heard randomly, just out of the blue, it sounds like, all like his business partners, business connections, and people he work with, he works with out in public are about to find out about his karmics. So all the people he slept with, men and women, I heard, men and women, and um, it's about to embarrass him. So like public embarrassment, heavily publicly embarrass him. One is going to try to transfer. If they will allow it. One, they will not allow the transfer. Ooh, there's two of them. Okay, so one's going to get so publicly embarrassed in the current location they're in. All the while, they were beating you down, trying to beat you into submission, ma'am. But they were out sleeping with every man, Tom, Dick, Harry, Sally, Sue, and Joe. Literally, men and women. Um, having their cake and eating it, too. But yet, trying to beat you into submission like some weird crazy shit um it's just so crazy like this person has mental health issues but and i'm just being for real but anyways all the information is about to go out to their co-workers their business partners the community people all over the city if it is a city i didn't hear it was a city it's a city okay it's a city i was feeling it was but in a city and um it's about to humiliate them there's two of them one is going to request a transfer in their company. I heard if they approve it. And one is going to request a transfer in their company. I heard they will deny it. So they will basically be stuck or they will have to apply for a different company. Whoa. But I heard they probably will end up moving soon. It is about to get really bad. It is about to get really bad. That's what I heard. It's about to get really bad. So. Very important people are about to find this out. Very important people. Light side people. Very important light side people are about to find this out. Prominent people. Prominent. Very important light side people are about to find this out. It is about to go badly for them. It's about to go badly for them. Masculine energies. Very important prominent light side people. So light side, they treat people honestly, trust, respect. Morals, ethics, integrity, and values. They're about to find this out about all their karmics, men and women. So they're bisexual, basically. They like men and women. Uh, they like it in the butt. They like it in the, not in the butt. Um, or, well, it's a man. So they like it in the butt, and they like to give it in the butt, I guess. Um, and I'm just being for real. I don't know how to say that. They're dudes. So they like it in the butt, and they like to get it in the butt. Um, I'm not trying to be crass i'm just being serious um but people very important people are about to find this out though very important light side people so people that treat people honestly trust respect morals ethics integrity values so they don't go around i'm presuming these light side people don't go around having all these people on the side and in the shadows trying to beat people down as submission to be with them but all the while they're having their cake and eating it too and like men and women in the butt giving it in the butt um it don't matter I wonder if these are the people I've been picking up that has STDs, where somebody was born to, um, if they have sex with somebody, to request an STD test, request them to go to the public health department. I'm not sure. You plug it in, how it resonates. Definite dark side individuals over here. There's at least two of them. One's going to try to transfer in their company soon, I heard, um, if the company allows it. So they may or may not allow the transfer. One will be denied the transfer. So you plug it in how it resonates. Public embarrassment, public humiliation coming for these two. But whoever you are, ma'am, you might fit in the first um, category of the basically um, rising like a phoenix. Um, your glow up is about to be beautiful, basically. And um, whoever you are, I think you've separated from these people or you're keeping boundaries with these people or something of that nature. Um, or at least I hope you are. One of these people is very embarrassed that they were involved in terrible, terribleness against you in the past. 
very embarrassed. You will be around this person upcoming. They probably will come and apologize, but they're going to report someone to the police first. Okay. It's a masculine energy. Okay, so you can be a masculine or femme. You plug in and how it resonates. I heard soon you're going to be around someone that um, was involved in all some kind of hot mess expressed against you in the past, ma'am. Or so, so, something terrible against you in the past. Um, I heard upcoming, they probably will. You're going to be around them upcoming in the universe soon. So it could be through a business opportunity, a 3D workspace environment, a business, whatever it is. But however that resonates, uh, you will be around them upcoming in the universe. Upcoming. Um, I heard they're embarrassed. They're embarrassed, but... I heard they probably will come back and apologize to you, but first they're going to go report somebody to the police first. So at least they're going to do their due diligence as a citizen and report somebody. Uh, I think they might have harmed you or harmed them or harmed a situation or something. Spare message you have like this. Sounds like they're trying to make it right now. Okay, message. The family reverse, soul reverse, bravery upright. It is time to focus on you. Your family has taken enough from you in the past. It's time for you to rise like a phoenix. Okay, I heard it's um, time to basically shine. It's basically time to shine and uh, rise like the phoenix because your family has taken enough from you in the past. So we have family reversed and soul reversed. So I think your family has sold their soul. Um, to the dark side is exactly what I think. I think they are dark side. I think they have sold their soul. I think they tried to sacrifice you. This is exactly what I think. They most certainly did. They most certainly did. That's confirmation. They did. They tried to sacrifice you. But it has backfired and it will continue to backfire. Okay, but I heard it's backfired and it will continue to backfire. So your family is dark side, ma'am or sir. Um, they have already attempted to sacrifice you in the universe. But I heard it has backfired and will continue to backfire. I heard for you it's time to focus on yourself because your dark side ass family is basically soulless because they have tried to, they're dark side. Whether they want you to, uh, they don't want people to think they're dark side, but they really are. So much so they try to sacrifice your ass. But I heard for you, feel you're estranged from them. You most certainly are. Okay, you are. You are. You're estranged from them. And I heard basically you just keep moving forward and progressing forward. Growing, manifesting, and building yourself. You cannot control the choices your family made, basically to sell their soul to try to sacrifice you, which has backfired and will continue to backfire. You can all you can control you though and the choices you make in the universe. So just make sure, you know, not to get any dark shit and make bad choices, basically. Bravery upright. You are about to change a masculine energy's perspective in a huge way. In a very Huge positive way. Know this. You're a very light side femme energy. Okay, I heard you're a light side femme energy. If this resonates for you with the soulless family, the dark side family, I heard you're about to change a masculine energy's perspective in a huge way. It's about to benefit him and you in a huge way. Okay, I heard it's about to benefit you, you and him in a huge way. So, ma'am, you're a light side individual, um, estranged from your dark ass family. And I heard you're about to change a masculine energy's perspective in a huge way. It's going to benefit him in a huge way and you in a huge way. So that's good. I mean, we, we want to promote growth, change, motivation, and transmutation in a positive way in the universe. So whatever way you're changing this masculine energy's perspective or you're about to, it's about to benefit him and you. So I don't think it's a bad 
I don't think you're like subliminally messaging or putting negative negativity out there or projection or something like you're putting something real out there, like an idea or ideal out there. And it's about to really benefit him and you. Bravery or, th or thought or something. You are very brave, very brave, and it's about you. It's about to pay off in a huge way for you. Huge way. You are very brave. Masculine and femme energy. Okay, masculine and femme energy. So your masculine or femme energy, if this resonates for you, I heard you're very brave, and it's about to pay off for you. Masculine or femme energy, if this resonates for you in a huge way. Um, hopefully, your light side or becoming light side. How that resonates and applies. I'm going to close it out. I hope this helped. I love you guys so much. And namaste.